In the previous video, we talked about balancing in international relations. And now we have the opposite of that strategy, which is called bandwagoning. So bandwagoning is defined as aligning with the source of danger. So bandwagoning happens when a country finds itself in a weak position against another country. And instead it decides to ally itself with that country in order to maintain their own security. Basically, a threatened country abandons its hopes of preventing an aggressor, a stronger country, from gaining power and chooses to align with that country. So bandwagoning is a strategy that is mainly employed by weak countries when they see that a rival's power is much stronger, that it makes no sense anymore to resist its demands because the rival country can eventually take whatever it wants by force. And it can also inflict serious damage and punishment in the process. There's actually a phrase that refers to this issue. It comes from Thucydides, and the phrase says, the strong do what they can, and the weak suffer what they must. So those weak countries have no choice but to give in to the enemy, because they are weak and isolated. An example of this concept was used by Bulgaria and Romania during the Second World War, when they allied with Nazi Germany in the early stages of the war, and then they switched their alliance to the Soviet Union near the end of the war. So great powers rarely employ this strategy, because they have the ability to put up a decent fight against other countries. In some cases, the stronger country may also offer incentives, like gaining territory or trade agreements or protection, in order to make the weaker country join with it. In this case, the weaker country aligns with the threatening country in order to save itself from being attacked by the rival country and also to share the spoils of war. So bandwagoning can also be used by opportunistic countries that want to gain profit through aggression. And this can happen, for example, when a country joins hands with an aggressor in order to take advantage of a third country. And an example of this was the Soviet Union joining hands with Nazi Germany to partition Poland in 1939. So bandwagoning can be divided into two categories of behavior. The first one is as a form of appeasement, and the second one is to share the spoils of war. However, bandwagoning can also be an ineffective and dangerous strategy, because it allows the balance of power to shift even more against the threatened state. So bandwagoning can make the weak country gain power, but the dangerous aggressor country gains even more power. So basically bandwagoning refers to when a country doesn't want to fight against the bigger threatening power and decides instead to join with that country for a variety of reasons, like saving itself from being attacked or to receive some types of benefits or to share the spoils that were gained from war. So this is another strategy that countries can pursue. So if you want to learn about the opposite strategy known as balancing, you can check out my previous video where I also explained that concept. So that's it for this one, and thanks for watching.